Welcome back to another Habs Nation video with the hockey coach guru, Coach Frenchy. Let's talk about Lane Hudson. The season following your draft year is a mental challenge for many NHL prospects. There are expectations that come with being drafted by an NHL team, especially if you were picked in the early rounds. Sometimes, as was the case for 2022 Canadians' early draft picks Lane Hudson, you are changing teams and changing levels immediately following that draft, only adding to the challenge. None of this is easy, and this is why everyone says the NHL draft is only the start of the journey. As thrilling as it is, there is a lot of work left to be done, and often it is more difficult than anything these young men have ever experienced. It is not linear for everyone, far from it, and just because one struggled and the other succeeded does not mean those trends will continue. It simply provides perspective that NHL prospects have a long journey from the draft to the NHL, and sometimes those journeys have to take a bit of a detour, while other times a prospect is able to find a bit of a shortcut. Lane Hudson climbed a significant step going from the USNTDP to the NCAA with Boston University. Hudson played against NCAA competition last season, but this was a permanent step, and for many, it can be a steep one. It wasn't for Hudson, who put together one of the best freshman seasons in NCAA history. BU teammate Luke Tuck described the experience of watching Hudson work his magic from the Terriers bench. He gets the puck at the point. You're sitting on the bench and your buddy's like, oh, here we go, shimmy, shake at the point, Tuck said. Oh, he's going to go right around you. Oh, he's going to pass back door. It's like that every time. That's what we see and that's what he does. So anytime you see him with the puck, you know something good is going to happen. It happened with BU with an astounding 48 points in 39 games as a freshman defenseman. It happened at the World Juniors, where Hudson helped the U.S. win bronze with four points in seven games. And it happened at the Men's World Championships, where Hudson put up six points in nine games. The U.S. team was run by San Jose Sharks coach David Quinn, and he had some encouraging words for Hudson. He was telling me, just play your game. But one thing in particular, things are coming fast out there, so it's better to make the play you see right away rather than try to make the home run play, Hudson said. That's something I definitely learned there and something he was stressing to me. It meant a lot. Quinn also gave Hudson an NHL comparable to follow, and it set a high bar. Yeah, he mentioned Adam Fox, Hudson said. It was definitely nice to hear that from him. He was saying Adam Fox came to the Rangers and was timid, didn't want to be the best, like he felt bad making great plays. He had to get that confidence, and that's something he told me, to just be confident. Hudson's defensive play is always the question mark, but based on what Took saw at BU this season, it shouldn't be as big of a question mark as people make it out to be. He has such a good stick and is really good defensively and was still one of the best on our team at angling guys off the rush, reading the play, Took said. I think midway through the season or towards the end of the season, as a freshman undersized defenseman, he was playing on our PK, he started playing penalty kill. The point again is that prospect development is not always linear. Next season is a big for Hudson despite the unmitigated success he had last season. This is a process that requires patience from the Canadians, but also from the players. Everyone develops at their own pace, and if you allow that process to play out at the proper pace, the rewards can be considerable. What do you think about the development of Habs prospects Lane Hudson? Thanks to watching this video, and don't forget to click on the likes and subscribe to the channel and leave us a comment about this video. Until the next time, remember you have greatness inside of you and we wishes you an amazing, great and blessing day, my friend.